Hello, in this video we will see how to convert image to WebP format with JavaScript. The purpose of converting an image is to save space in storage without losing quality. Let's see an example. I will save the converted image. The size of the original image is 215 kilobytes. The size of WebP image is 186 kilobytes. I'm gonna convert another image. The size of the original image is 563 kilobytes. The size of WebP image is 376 kilobytes. Like you see, the quality of the two images is the same, but the size is different. In HTML file, we will write the code for converting an image to WebP format. I'm gonna create a div convert and div for images. Inside div convert, I will add a title, convert image to WebP format. I'm gonna add an input, type file, accept image, star mean all format of images, name convert, and id user image. I'm gonna use style to change the design of the web page. Margin and padding of the body zero. Position of class convert relative. Margin top 15 pixels and text align center. I'm gonna change the design of the input. Height 100 pixels. Border radius 10 pixels. Cursor pointer. We can't change the design of input file. So I will create a new element on top of input. I'm gonna give it a class mask. Inside div mask, I'm gonna add a title, upload an image. I'm gonna use CSS to change the position of the element mask. Position absolute, height 100 pixels, width 255 pixels, background gray. I'm gonna move div mask to same position of uh, the input. Top 58 pixels. Left 50%. Transform translate x minus 50%. The div mask is on top of the input file. So we can click on input field to upload a file. So I'm gonna change the Z index of the div mask. Now the input field is on top. To hide it, I'm gonna set opacity zero. I'm gonna change the style of the H4 element. Margin top 40 pixels and font size 20 pixels. I'm gonna try margin top 38 pixels. Now the element H4 is in the middle. Inside the div images, I'm gonna add two divs. The first div for the image that the user will upload. 
second div for webp email. I'm gonna use JavaScript to show the uploaded image. I'm gonna add an event to the input field on change convert image event. In the script section, I'm gonna create a function convert image. I'm gonna print the value test to check if the function works. On browser, I'm gonna check if the function works when the value of the input change. We can see the word test on console. I'm gonna use the function convert image to show the uploaded image. If event.target.files.length greater than zero, that means a file in this case an image was uploaded I'm gonna save src of the uploaded image in a variable src little src equal url dot create object url event dot target dot files zero I'm gonna create a const for the element u image so I can change the value of src of the image I'm gonna create a const for webp image. Inside the if condition, I'm gonna update the value of the src of the image user image. There is a syntax error. Forget to change the name of the second const. I'm gonna upload an image. We can see the image uploaded, but it's too big. I'm gonna add a title to user image. Let's call it original image. I'm gonna add a title to webp image. In style section, I'm gonna change the size of images. Display flex, so we can see the two images on the same line text or line center margin top 20 pixels and margin left 200 pixels i'm gonna change the style of divs inside the class images with 400 pixels width of image 100 percent Now the size of the image is perfect. I'm gonna convert the image to canvas. First, I'm gonna create an element canvas. Document.createElementCanvas I'm gonna create a context little context equal canvas dot get context 2d I'm gonna create a new object image it's src equal to the src of the uploaded image I'm gonna add a function to user image on load canvas dot width equal to user image dot width canvas dot height equal user image dot height you can change the dimensions of image facebook for example change the height and the width of the uploaded images i'm gonna use the method context dot draw image to convert user image to canvas i'm gonna add canvas to body to check if the canvas was created we can see canvas
Now I'm gonna convert canvas to WebP image. Little WebP image equal canvas to data URL image slash format of image in this case WebP. You can add parameter of quality one for high quality. I'm gonna show the WebP image wimage.src equal webp image. We can see that a new image was created. I'm gonna add a margin between the two images. I'm gonna download the new image. This is the original image. It size 147 kilobytes. This is the WebP image. It size 715 kilobytes. The size is big, bigger because I choose the high quality. To save the same quality of the image, I'm gonna remove parameter 1. I'm gonna download the WebP image. I'm gonna call it unquality. Its size is 186 kilobytes. Size of the original image is 215 kilobytes. I'm gonna convert another image. I'm gonna call it same quality. Its size is 129 kilobytes. The size of the original image is 147 kilobytes. You can reduce the size of an image by reducing its width and its height. If you create a website like Facebook or eBay, you can modify the size of image and uh, dimensions before send it to the server. This is the end of this video. Take care.